YouTube, what's going on? It's Blake here with Blake's Game Room, and today we're going to be talking about the Tokyo Game Show 2012. Um, now, they had a bunch of uh, releases and um, game trailers and everything, but I'm just going to talk about the ones that really interested me, um, because these are series that I really, really like. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. It was held last week, and uh, I got five, five-ish games or stuff here to talk about. First thing we're going to be talking about is um, the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 uh, HD Remix. Now what this is going to be is this is going to be a Kingdom Hearts 1 um, Final Mix, which was the updated version released in Japan of the original uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, that's going to be released on the disc, along with uh, Chain of Memories, which is the kind of like the bridge between Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Um, that was released for the PlayStation 2. So you're going to get those two games on a uh, one Blu-ray disc, and you're also going to get, um, you're not going to get the full game of 358 over two days, but you're actually just going to get all of the cutscenes in high definition uh, quality. They're actually not going to put the game on there. You're just going to get all the high definition uh, cutscenes. So you can read more about that in the article down below. I think it's going to be pretty awesome. A little disappointed though, they're not just making a big Kingdom Hearts um, HD uh, bundle, but um, you know, hopefully down the road, maybe they put a Birth by Sleep with Kingdom Hearts 2. You know, on one disc, that'd be kind of cool. Kind of do what they did with the God of War games. Um, so yeah, we'll see down the road. But um, I'm really glad though to get Kingdom Hearts one and a one and a half in uh, high definition though because. Uh, I've been wanting to go back and play with with you know three looming at some point in time, so it'll be ex it'll be exciting uh, to go play those. Uh, next up here we got Yakuza Five is coming out, um, and so happy for this. As you guys know, I was big on Dead Souls and Yakuza Four. Um, still playing through Yakuza Three, trying to get it beat, um, and you know along with Yakuza One. Uh, but Yakuza is a great series. If you like Shinmu, you're going to like Yakuza because what Yakuza is is just a better version, I think, of Shinmu. Um, it's a little more real. It's a little more in-depth. Um, but if you love storytelling games, if you love getting immersed in a story and pretty much sitting down and watching a movie, Yakuza is for you. Um, this one is going to have three of the returning protagonists. Um, you're going to have... a uh, uh, Akiyama, which was the guy that uh, was the money lender from the originals in the red suit. Um, you're going to have uh, Kazuma, or, or Kazuma, uh, I forget how you pronounce his name. Um, he's the guy that's in all the games, always on the front. Uh, the dragon, he's going to be in there. You're also going to have one of the brothers... Um, the name is escaping me right now. Let me see if it's down here. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, Sajima, um, which him and uh, he also had his brother that had the patch um, in the original uh, Yakuza 4 and 5, or sorry, Dead Souls, not 5. Um, he's going to be in there too, along with two new characters. One's more of a pop star that doesn't really do any fighting, and the other one's kind of a bad to the bone baseball player looking guy. Um, they're putting so much stuff in this game that it's going to be truly the best Yakuza experience yet. They're going to put over 120 mini games into this game. You're going to be able to play Virtua Fighter 2. You're going to be able to play pool, billiards, uh, uh, slot machines, casinos, claw machines, bowling, batting cages. Anything you're wanting is going to be in this game. There's also going to be a new car chase uh, kind of scene mini games. Um, they got stuff in there where you're hunting a bear. Why that's in there, I don't know. Um, the other big improvement they're bringing along is it's going to be more uh, dynamic as far as the world goes. There's going to be five parts instead of just the one city. So there's going to be five separate cities. You're going all around Japan this time from Tokyo to Osaka. Um, you know, to all the other cities that I, I don't know how they pronounce them, um, or what I've never heard of. But um, it's definitely going to be really, really neat. 
And uh, they're also bringing more Dynasty Warriors-esque into the battle system. Um, there's going to be more enemies on screen at one time, which is very neat as well. Um, so they're kind of going to make it with the Dead Souls formula, where just, you know, wave of enemies, uh, which I think is definitely very cool. So Yakuza 5, really can't wait till it comes out here to the States. And um, definitely go check out those two trailers below. You're going to love them. If you're a fan of Yakuza, you're going to be like, oh my god, I can't wait. If you've never played Yakuza before, I highly recommend it. Um, can't say anything more about it because it's Yakuza. The next two games I want to talk about are social games for mobiles. Um, and they are particularly different. Uh, the first game celebrates Mega Man's 25th anniversary. And it is called Mega Man X Over. Um, or Mega Man Zover. Um, I don't know how it's going to be officially worded. But it seems to be a card battle game mixed with a classic Mega Man shooting game. Um, where Mega Man is constantly running and you control where he shoots. So, and if you do the levels properly, you get new cards to battle your friends with. So it's definitely a very, very different game. Um, probably won't be seeing it over here, but, you know, for your Mega Man fans, thought I'd tell you about it. Um, definitely looks very different, and um, from, from what they've been saying, it looks very repetitive. So, I don't know, um, probably won't be seeing it here. It's one of those Japanese things. Um, same thing with the next game is Metal Gear Social Ops, which is also another card-based game, but it also has some cool uh, 3D cutscenes in it as well, so that might be seen here a little bit better. Um, next thing I want to talk about uh, is the PS3 Super Slim was announced, and this thing is 25% smaller than the PS3 Slim, and it's also going to be 20% lighter than the PS3 Slim. Um, so it's going to be definitely a lot sleeker, lot thinner. It looks great. If you haven't seen it, there's a whole gallery in the link down below. Um, it's definitely a different looking console. Uh, will I be picking one up? No. My Slim works perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to upgrade my hard drive in the future. Uh, but if you've been looking to get one, um, definitely, you know, now is the time to do it with all these great HD collections and games coming out for them. Uh, you can get the Infamous Collection, the God of War Collection, the Kingdom Hearts Collections coming out, the Sly Cooper, the Jack and Daxter, um, the Ratchet and Clank. I mean, all these collections. And um, Shadow and Eco. Uh, I mean, and, and with all these PSN deals. PS3 right now, if you have not got one, it's time to get on the bandwagon because with all these great buys you can get, you know, five games... For $39.99. Two games, all the DLC, and another game for $39.99. Three games for $15. Two games for $20. I mean, all these little packages they have make the PS3 a great, just great time to get one. Um, because, you know, you can get one for Christmas, and instead of just getting two $60 games, you know, you can get a whole slew of games that you missed out on. So, definitely, um, get the PS3 Super Slim if you haven't got one already, um, or if you have the old one and you're looking to upgrade to a new model, this is going to be perfect because they come out in the 250 and the 500 gigabyte models. Um, your price points you're looking at are going to be around uh, 299 for the 5 gigabyte, 500 gigabyte model and 269 for the uh, 250 gig. So definitely $30 is worth the 250 gigabytes more of storage. So, like I said, if you're looking to get one, go get it. Um, and, yeah. So that was the Tokyo Game Show. The stuff that interested me. Um, I mean, there was Tales of Zillia 2 um, being shown off, which we're finally getting Tales of Zillia next year. Um, I mean, there was Monster Hunter 4 showed off as well. Uh, Ace Attorney was showed off. Um, no Microsoft was showed. Um, the Wonder Book was showed off again. Just tons of stuff. Um, I mean, if, if you want to get more insight on that stuff, there will be links through the links I put down below. 
Um, and, you know, if you want to check out the full coverage. But this is just the stuff that interested me. Tell me your thoughts down below on Kingdom Hearts or Yakuza or these new social games that are coming out. Or, or are you going to get to PS3 Super Slim? So let me know down below or make me a video response on your thoughts on the Tokyo Game Show. And uh, we'll see you right back here next time. Peace out, YouTube.